It was just after 6 p.m. on Labor Day weekend in 2018 when 30-year-old Michael Lewis was shot to death while attending an annual memorial barbecue at Coronation Park for a friend who had been murdered nine years earlier. At the first-degree murder trial for Andrew Douglas, the man accused of killing Lewis, Emily Chamberlain, Lewis's girlfriend who was pregnant at the time, testified about how she and her boyfriend and his two young children from a previous relationship were enjoying themselves that day before what the Crown calls an execution happened. Chamberlain testified a man in a grey Nike tracksuit arrived with two or three people and said to Lewis, let me haul at you quick. And Michael got up and went with him and talked for not so long and then he shot Michael. Sitting with her back to her boyfriend, Chamberlain said she turned around and he was standing basically over top of him and throwing the gun down on his face. And Michael said, no, no, and he shot him in the head. The jury has heard that the accused Andrew Douglas is the brother of rapper Smoke Dog, who was shot and killed just two months earlier. The Crown prosecutor told the jury that Michael Lewis, the victim, had nothing to do with Smoke Dog's murder. That being said, there was bad blood between Michael Lewis and Smoke Dog over a gold chain. Lewis's girlfriend testified this photo taken in March 2017 showed her boyfriend just after he told her he went to get weed at a dispensary and ran into Smoke Dog and got back his chain. Smoke Dog and a couple of people walked in. Michael seen him and grabbed the chain off his neck and he took his chain and he ran. What's good YouTube? Back with another one. Before we get into it, make sure you guys hit that like it and subscribe, hit that notification bell. But let's get right into it. Now according to reports, it's looking like Smoke Dog's older brother Ace has been acquitted of first degree murder. Now a jury agreed that he was acting in self defense when he shot 30 year old Michael Lewis six times including two in the head in broad daylight in front of a bunch of people at Lakefront Park. Now during the two week trial, prosecution argued that Ace went armed to the memorial barbecue on September 2nd, 2018 intending to kill Lewis for disrespecting Smoke Dog. Prosecutors alleged that Ace approached Lewis spoke to him briefly and shot him dead within six minutes of arriving at the barbecue. Two witnesses testified Lewis was on the ground when he was shot in the head and a third witness pretty much said that Ace held him by the collar and shot him again. Now with all that testimony against him, I know you guys probably thought it would have been over for him after all of that. But his lawyer argued that he wasn't there for revenge and that Lewis was actually the one that was paranoid. I guess Lewis must have took his chain back from Smoke Dog that Smoke Dog and them took from him. So he seen my youth and he got paranoid and he was the instigator. They're saying that Ace is about 140 pounds and my youth's like 200 pounds. So I don't know how he took his bid from him. At one point, his lawyer Richard Posner is all saying that this video of Ace putting on cologne before going to the park and that shows that he wasn't going to go do a drill because I guess you don't want to smell good and sexy if you're going to go do a drill. That's what the lawyer is saying, man. That's some OJ. If the gloves don't fit, you must have quit type ish if you ask me. But now, even though he was found not guilty, he's not going to be getting out right away. He's currently serving eight years right now for a 2013 home invasion robbery where they allegedly ran into someone's crib and they shot the person when they tried to escape. I'm going to leave the link for the article in the description box so y'all can go read it for yourself. Y'all can let me know your thoughts about the situation in the comment section, man. What do you guys think about Smoke Dog's older brother beating his murder case? He allegedly shot that man in broad daylight in front of a bunch of witnesses and he beat the case. What do you guys think, man? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe button. Follow the RBN TV. Link in the description box also. You don't know.